and welcome. I'm Karen, this made her mom. Today I have a Zupa Toscana soup recipe for you, and it's a special one because it is keto friendly. I love Zupa soup more than just about anything, but I didn't want to give it up when I went low carb. So this is a low carb recipe, and I've even given it a little tweak. So I hope you'll stay tuned. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. It helps me so much. Thanks. I turned my pan on medium high on the stove to get it warmed up and then I started cutting up my onion. I'm using half of a medium sized onion, so if you had a small onion that would be perfect. Now I'm taking out six pieces of bacon and I like to use the uncured bacon and I'm going to cut that up with kitchen scissors and get it frying in my pan. Now in hindsight, I think it works better to cook your bacon ahead of time and save about one tablespoon of the bacon fat that you can use in place of oil to be sauteing the rest of the ingredients. It honestly took way too long for this bacon to cook. And now I'll show you what it looks like with the bacon all fried up. There you go. And now I'm draining all but about a tablespoon of the baking fat. Into my baking fat, I'm adding that half medium chopped onion and I'm letting that get sauteing. And then I'm immediately going to be um, adding the sausage. Now for sausage, I really like the Jimmy Dean sausage that comes in kind of like a roll and I use the one that says hot on the side because that way I don't have to add red pepper to the recipe like you would normally do in a Zupa Toscana. It just saves me that one ingredient and for me the sausage with the garlic is heat enough. Now sometimes what happens as I'm sauteing is I realize the bottom of my pan is getting kind of um, burnt on. So what I like to do before it does burn is I add a little bit of chicken broth to deglaze it and that does get the flavor bits back into the soup. So there you saw that my sausage is all cooked, so I'm adding two tablespoons of garlic and that's really something that's to taste. I mean, we're making... Um, two servings here so if you don't like that much garlic you can put less or if you love garlic you can put more it doesn't really matter normally in a keto zupa you add cauliflower but i really like this um, mixed blend of vegetables it has summer squash and zucchini and some broccoli and a little bit of carrot now a lot of people don't eat carrot on keto and so if you don't want to eat carrot don't put carrot in but i'm just putting in the vegetables that i like in place of potato And you're going to see me chopping up the vegetables quite often here because I like them in small pieces and they just were in big pieces in the bag, but it was easier to chop it as it was getting cooked up. And then it also releases a lot of that flavor back into the soup from the vegetables. And then I'm adding the rest of my box of chicken broth, which is four cups of chicken broth. And now I'm just letting it simmer so that those vegetables can get cooked down and the broth can get boiling. If you like this video, I hope you'll smash that like button. I hope you'll consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see an eye in the sky that gives you a link to other of the recipes on my channel. Thanks so much. Once the broth is really boiling and I'm almost done with the soup, I'm adding cut up kale. If you don't like kale, you could use spinach. Um, or just skip the entire step, but I love kale, so I'm cutting it up with scissors, and when there's enough in there that I think is a good amount, I stop.
somehow in my filming I missed that I actually added heavy whipping cream and I added about one eighth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I like enough cream so that I still have the yellow color of the soup, but I like I do like it to be creamy. Now once the kale is wilted and the cream is heated through, you're ready to serve. Doesn't that look good? And it tasted so good. It's definitely comfort food. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you try it, let me know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!